Magandang araw mga kasiknayan. Welcome to Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will solve for the mode of a given group of data. Let us first define what is a mode. The mode or the modal score is a score or scores that occurred most in the distribution. It is classified as unimodal, bimodal, trimodal, or multimodal. Unimodal is a distribution of scores that consists of only one mode. Bimodal is a distribution of scores that consists of two modes. Trimodal is a distribution of scores that consists of three modes. And multimodal is a distribution of scores that consists of four or more modes. The formula in finding the mode for a group data is equal to LMO plus difference 1 all over difference 1 plus difference 2 times I. Wherein LMO is the lower class boundary of the modal class. Difference 1 is the difference between the highest frequency and the frequency above it. While difference 2 is the difference between the highest frequency and the frequency below it. And I refers to the class size. What is a modal class? The modal class is the class interval with the highest frequency. Given the frequency distribution of the scores obtained by 45 students of grade 10 mathematics class in a 100 item test, solve for the mode. The first column shows the class intervals, while the second column indicates the frequency of each class interval. The total number of frequencies is equal to 45. It is obtained by adding all the frequencies at the second column. The lower class boundary of the first class interval 10 to 21 is equal to 9.5. 22 to 33, the lower class boundary is 21.5. 34 to 45, the lower class boundary is 33.5. Following the process, you will arrive at 45.5, 57.5, 69.5, and 81.5. Let us now identify our modal class. Since the class interval 58 to 69 has the highest frequency which is equal to 10, therefore, the modal class is 58 to 69. Using the modal class, we may now identify the lower class boundary which is equal to 57.5. The difference between the highest frequency and the frequency above it, that is equal to 10 minus 9, which is equal to 1. The difference between the highest the frequency and the frequency below it, that is 10 minus 5, which is equal to 5. And the class size, which is equal to 12. There are 12 observations from 10 to 21 and also to the rest of the class intervals. Using these values, we may now solve for the mode of the group by substituting the values to the given formula. That will be 57.5 plus 1 all over 1 plus 5 times 12. Simplifying the denominator of the fraction, 
that will be 1 all over 6 times 12. 1 over 6 times 12 is equal to 2. 2 plus 57.5 is equal to 59.5. That means that the estimated mode of the group is 59.5. Let us now have our second example. The following table shows the number of plants in a house at a certain barangay in Tondo, Manila during the pandemic. Identify the mode of the group. The first column shows the number of plants and the second column shows the number of houses. The lower class boundary of the first class interval, 0 to 2, is equal to negative 0 0.5. 3 to 5, the lower class boundary is 2.5. 6 to 8, the lower class boundary is 5.5. Following the same process, the results will be 8.5, 11.5, 14.5, and 17.5. Let us now identify the modal class. Since the highest frequency is 7, we therefore conclude that the modal class is the class interval 12 to 14. Using the modal class, we may now identify the lower class boundary, which is equal to 11.5. Difference between the highest frequency and the frequency above it is 7 minus 4, which is equal to 3. The difference between the highest frequency and the frequency below it, which is equal to 7 minus 3, equals 4, and the class size is equal to 3. Using the values, we may now solve for the mode by substituting in the formula. By proper substitution, that will be equal to 11.5 plus the quantity 3 over 3 plus 4 times 3. Simplifying the denominator, we will arrive at 3 over 7 times 3. 3 over 7 times 3 is equal to 9 over 7, which is equal to 1.29. 1.29 plus 11.5 is equal to 12.79. That means that the estimated mode of the group is 12.79. Let us now check your knowledge. The following table shows the scores obtained by 50 students of grade 10 mathematics class in a 50-item test. Complete the table and compute for the mode of the group. Do not forget to pause this video while you are doing this activity. Good luck! Let us now discuss the answer in the activity. The lower class boundaries are 6.5, 12.5, 18.5, 24.5, 30.5, 36.5 and 42.5. The modal class is 19 to 24 since the highest frequency is equal to 11. Using the modal class, we may now identify the lower class boundary which is 18.5. The first difference which is equal to 11 minus 6 equals 5. The second difference, which is equal to 11 minus 7, which is 4. And the class size, which is equal to 6. Using these values, let us now substitute to the given formula in finding the mode. By proper substitution, we will arrive at 18.5 plus quantity 5 all over 5 plus 4 times 6. Simplifying the denominator, we will arrive at 5 over 9 times 6, 
which is equal to 30 over 9 or simply 3.33. 18.5 plus 3.33 is equal to 21.33. 21.83. That means that the estimated mode of the group is 21.83. Thank you for watching our Ocnex YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning. Thank you and God bless.